we would we we also recognize that um, you know somewhere these collections need to be need to be uh, mm. invested with with a with a better understanding that all art uh, practices uh, all linguistic choices need actually to be represented so you know given that we are we are talking with you and that that photography has been something that you've been so devoted to as a major section of your art expression don't you find it irksome that you know uh, spaces like the ngma haven't bothered to really you know invest in something that is a wholesome collection that documents mm. and so that it is a separate space of um, of a collection <laughs> it should be but i i have no idea how uh, Uh, NGMA started. Mm -hmm. Probably their idea was whatever was had happened should be there. No, mm -hmm. but because they had named it uh, Gallery of Modern Art, something contemporary. I mean, not because they already have a National Museum you know, right. where all antiques are mm -hmm. uh, collected. But probably they had no idea about photography then. No? Mm -hmm. and directors will have no power and i don't know whether they have a advisory council or some such uh, arrangement mm. i don't know. in fact lalit kala academy before they had this they came up with ravindra bhavan mm. ngm was also used as lalit kala academy's office no? yes. mm. also no, i was trying to say that uh, what photographers did was mainly listening to something which was in front of them no mm -hmm. artist had something in their mind mm -hmm. or emotion and they were trying to take it out on canvas mm -hmm. for photographer they had to notice something that it is there mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. so that way it was not parallel with painting no they were not creating something from nothing something was there already there and they were not removing the parts which were not necessary and they thought something which was nice or beautiful or meaningful mm. and since photography could do so many things mm. so many areas uh, were also used no, which can be considered uh, that they used cameras no <coughs> zoologists use mm. even little apart you no know, x rays and mm -hmm. sonography and all so they are not strictly photography mm -hmm. basically they are in a way you no know, family of photography mm -hmm. so that's one reason why <coughs> it was never in beginning appeal to people or people thought that this was mm -hmm. you know, perhaps Only, also they huh. saw it as a journalistic space more that's why because yes. it was used for mm. something different mm. no mm. then as self expression sure no so mm. so even uh, now where people are collecting photography mm. they are collecting it as part of something which is part of history of photography no absolutely so they have everything mm. but uh, otherwise uh, Uh, it's very difficult mm. and because in west now people have started collecting many of our old good photographs are now going out you know yes i think so once by like deep dayal yes, and yes. Uh, yes but even somebody as recent as uh, raghuveer singh uh, i know that a lot of his work is with the smithsonian huh. because in fact there was nobody here that valued huh. it at the time huh. when he did that uh, even got that offer and <coughs> made that but this happened to even kumar swami you know all his That's collection right. yeah absolutely he had offered to indian government yes yes no people were interested or yes were not ready to pay yeah, absolutely even so it went to most yes, yes. somebody like uh, chester hervets was trying mm -hmm. to see yes we have uh, had we've had many situations where our country mm -hmm. has lost its mm -hmm. potential to hold its its uh, contemporary history and probably i'm not sure i think it's good thing that because now it's preserved if they it had remained here Perhaps it would have gone anywhere no i mean because we do not know how to preserve things mm -hmm. no? 
there is a Gujarati term Arambeshwara, no? we are very enthusiastic for starting something, but never bother to look after it. No? Yeah. This passage of time um, uh, that you have been so actively involved as an, as an artist, as a teacher, um, I think uh, the anecdotes, the, the reminiscence of all these uh, make for both a personal history and a collective history. Um, do you, I know that you write, I know that you keep diaries. Um, would you ever consider that those become spaces that others can uh, use in order for the time sequences to be known in as, as a larger narrative? Or would you see that as something that is intrusive? No, I think, in fact, I do hope that this thing becomes public, no, it can be used by, but I do not want to go to people that please read it, no, okay. that's all. Uh -huh. But uh, uh, no, there is this Asian uh, uh, art archive. Yes, yes. They have uh, scanned lots of, uh, almost all of my work, including uh -huh. my diaries also. Uh -huh. He asked whether it was personal. I said, personal, yes, but not uh, private. Private, no, exactly. I mean that. So, so it is there. It will be available to anybody on uh, internet. Mm -hmm. While they were doing this, several people came to know about this, and whoever asked, I gave them, you know, in form of DVDs, so they can read it. Proliferated, yes, as well. Okay. Only thing is that uh, it's Gujarati, you know, that makes it in a way limited. Sure. But. Uh, I myself find it interesting because they are not like regular uh, written thing. No, it's first of all, it's same way I think. You know, jumping from one to another, <laughs> and whenever I found it difficult to express something in word, I mean, I used illustrations, sure. you know, verbal uh, visuals also. Mm -hmm. In fact, sometimes written words become illustrations for visual thing. No, it uh, balance goes this way or that way. People uh, have been after me up for last, but no, we keep on talking normally. So for five, six years, somebody is interested in publishing it. And finally, everything is gone. And now they say, you no, know, for last one year, two years, it goes on, that it has been translated and it is. Okay. So something is happening. Okay. Sure. Yeah. But uh, in fact, number of my paintings were like diary. You no, know? mm -hmm. uh, one of my work, which is in NGMA, and they have reproduced. Uh, I had given this title, you no, know, that a page from my diary. So that time I I was not writing actually diary, but mm -hmm. you no, know, that painting is like a diary. You no, know? sure. I mean, it, so I hope something. What because it will, whoever reads it later, hmm. will give some information of what had happened because many minor things uh, which appeared trivial, which would not be registered anywhere you know, in an official thing. Hmm. So such details will be available. Absolutely. Certain names which never you know, came to limelight, hmm. certain incidents, I mean that kind of a in between gaps, the know, nuances, which are huh, the nuances in huh, many ways, which can enhance the actual uh, material, which is otherwise better. No? Oh no, it's I don't know. Like you no, know, my uh, uh, what is your scanner? One part is missing, hmm. and now nothing is happening. No, it's sure, useless. Sure. So that kind of you know, my diary may provide give missing parts to someone sure. who, who otherwise have many things. Uh, I uh, know that in everybody's uh, life journey, um, there's always, whether we desire to uh, make it known or not, there are people who have been very special 
uh, to us. Um, in my life's journey, you have been. You've been my teacher. And um, beyond that, somebody whose presence has been um, a source of wisdom. I'm sure for you, in your life, uh, there has been people like that. Uh, in this small space of conclusion to this wonderful um, conversation that has rambled through a couple of days and through many decades of time, who would you like to remember as being from the world of art or from the world of literature? Somebody that you know has been so special in your life, even if you've never met them, or if you have, then held them close in your heart. In literature, <coughs> I have read only Gujarati, you know, except few detective English <laughs> stories, which are insignificant. You know. uh, one writer called Javer Chand Meghani, you know, through his writing, I became aware of many things you know, about uh, Indian culture, mm -hmm. especially rural culture of Saurashtra, mm -hmm. also Gandhian theory and many things. So, mm -hmm. as an initial force, you know, mm -hmm. it's like he put me at such a point where I could see much more on my own. Mm -hmm. So, I think his influence is perhaps uh, maximum. Mm -hmm. Similarly, another uh, person, uh, Ravi Shankar Rawal, who in a way introduced art. I mean, we ha did have traditional art, etc. But you know, two people of Gujarat, you know, otherwise people were mostly business minded. You know, like only good influence was Gandhiji, otherwise you know, sure. they would have sold either ornaments or clothes or pakodas and low class, <laughs> no, like that. So, though he himself has not as a painter, he hasn't done much you know, mm -hmm. for any <coughs> work that we can consider it significant today. Mm -hmm. But he made Gujarati people aware of art mm -hmm. and he brought all these people together, you know, writers mm -hmm. and poets and painters. And mm -hmm. There was a time when if anybody was getting married, mm -hmm. People would give gift of these oh, albums of paintings, you know, of Ravi Shankar Rawal or sure. whoever few artists were there. Mm -hmm. But that was the thing. Now nobody even knows their name. No? Or yeah. now people have lots of money and they give very expensive things. Mm -hmm. But hardly anybody thinks of giving art or book of art or something. Mm -hmm. So though you know, it's like a seed, mm. because ultimately tree can come out from seed and I think mm. uh, personally I am indebted to these people. Uh. Jyotibai, um, we remain indebted to you well, and sir. we thank you so much for this opportunity and uh, my conversation with you has opened up this amazing world of uh, many ancestries belonging within it. So thank you so much sincerely okay, sir. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You, thank you.